In this tutorial, we're going to show you how you would transfer files from a Mac computer to the QNAP device. Now, the first step would be to find the IP address of your NAS system. This is assuming that your NAS and your computer are on the same local area network. The first step that you're going to do is to launch our QFinder application. If you don't have that, you can acquire that from our website by going to support and then download and utilities. So once you run the app, you're going to find your NAS system and you're going to make note on what the IP address is. Now if the NAS does not come up in QFinder, another way that you can acquire the IP address is to look in front of it. Now as long as it has an LCD display, then you can hit the select button a couple of times and it'll display what the IP address is. Now that we know what the IP address of the NAS is, what we're then going to do is on our Mac computer, we're going to hit to go and then connect to server. Now in this example, we're using SMB. You can also begin with AFP and you'll still be able to connect to the NAS perfectly fine. The difference is, is AFP is generally recommended for Mac environments and SMB is generally recommended for Windows environments. But in either case, both will allow you access to the system. So once you enter the URL, it's then going to prompt you to enter a username and password. Now this is for the NAS and not your Mac computer. Now once you enter those credentials, it's then going to tell you what folder that you want to mount to your Mac computer. Now whatever folder you choose, that username needs to have access to that folder. So if you try to mount it and you get any errors, check the permission settings. Once we have that folder mounted, we will then be able to start copying into the NAS by simply dragging and dropping uh, the information on the Mac computer into that mounted folder. Now the same concept applies by pulling the information from our NAS system to our Mac computer by accessing that mounted folder and then dragging and dropping it to our Mac computer. So in this segment, we're going to go ahead and show you how you would automatically mount the shared folders on the NAS to your Mac computer. So the first step is going to be to have each of those shares display on our desktop. So to do that, we're going to go to Finder and then Preferences. We're then going to enable the Connected Servers option. What's not going to happen is that we're going to see the shared folders appear on our desktop on the top right. We're going to close out that window and the next step that we're going to do is we're going to select the Apple icon and then System Preferences. We're then going to select Users and Groups. On the top right, we're going to go to Login Items. And then from here, whatever we drag and drop into this window, that's what will be automatically mounted. So in this example, we dragged Home. So whenever the Mac computer is restarted, that Home folder will automatically be mounted. Thank you for watching this tutorial on how to go about transferring files from a Mac computer to the NAS system and vice versa. If you're interested in viewing our suggested videos, one deals with transferring files from a Windows station and the other deals with transferring files by utilizing your web browser and using FileStation, then please click on the respective titles.